Greetings to you today. This is Michelle Strickland. I'm coming to you today with the weekly PSA lesson number seven. And it's uh, ways to determine how to illuminate and not illuminate a situation, okay? This is something to think about. I'm doing, I'm making up, okay? Are you tired of feeling lost in a sea of confusion? Unsure when, it, when to illuminate the truth? Well, fear not because we have some honest ways to light up the darkness. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna tell the truth when it comes to me. I come I tell the truth anyway. I'm honest. You know? And I believe in other people being honest. Today we want to shed some light on determining when to illuminate a situation and when it's best to let things remain in the shadows. Honesty is the guiding is is the guiding principle here and it starts with being true to yourself. The mirror test. Before you decide to illuminate a situation, look deep into the mirror of your consciousness. Ask yourself, am I trying to reveal the truth for the greater good or for personal gain? There's a lot of people out here that are doing a lot of underhanded stuff. have done a whole lot of underhanded stuff. Now they want, they want to throw a rock and hide their hands and crap like that. You know, being criminals. You know? You need to be honest with yourself first. If your intentions are pure and aimed at benefiting others, go ahead and let the light let the light shine. I'm gonna tell the truth because first of all, if you gonna hurt me and, and you telling lies, but you just out here just telling lies and creating a whole bunch of havoc for no reason, you need to be you need to be charged for that. If you should, if, then don't do stuff like that to people, you know, just be honest and leave them alone. If they're not bothering you, you don't have no reason. If you don't have no reason to mess with somebody, leave them alone. Even if you have a reason, you need to ask yourself, why are you going after somebody? Why? The balancing that honesty is vital. But it must be balanced with sensitivity and empathy. Consider the impact of illuminating the situation on others. Sometimes it's best to offer support and understanding instead of shining a harsh light on someone's mistakes. And I get that. I don't just blast people for the sense just because I could do it. You know, if they made a mistake, I don't believe in that. But if you made a mistake that, that, that you know, somebody else is affected by it, you don't want to come forth and... And, and tell the truth and the other person is suffering behind you, then that's not right. Then you need to be called out. The search for clarity. Before shedding light on a situation, seek clarity and gather all the facts. Misunderstandings can lead to un unnecessary turmoil. Communicate openly and honestly and find the truth together. That's right. I can back up everything I say. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it to myself. If I can't back up what I'm saying. The wisdom of patience. Not every situation requires immediate illumination. Sometimes it's wiser to wait for the right moment. Allow time for emotions to settle. And when the timing is right, bring the truth to light with, with integrity. I try to be like that. I try to have integrity. You know, I try to. You know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I fall short sometimes. Yeah, but guess what? When I mess up, I say I messed up. Because I don't want somebody else to be affected by my mistakes. But that's the kind of person I am. So my friends, remember these honest ways to determine when to illuminate and when not to. The path of truth may always be may not always be easy, but it's the path of strength and understanding. Embrace honesty, empathy, and patience, and together we can light up the world with compassion. This message was brought to you by Michelle Strickland.